And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Etherix live stream. So I apologize I was not able to do this yesterday. I had some other things I had to take care of yesterday. It was originally supposed to be for yesterday. But here we are on the Monday morning. So I hope you are all doing well. Hope you're all doing good. And again, thank you very much for joining me on the live stream today. So we're going to be talking about a few things pertaining to the updates of Etherix. We're also going to be doing a giveaway here very shortly. And we'll also be doing some Q&A with everybody here that is on the chat today. So again, thank you for being here. It's great that you're all here. And just a reminder that we have the 22% discount store-wide off all products on Etherix. No discount code is required. So as soon as you go on to etherix.co and you go to the product of your choosing and you'll find again that regular price slashed and you'll see it at its discount rate. Now this discount rate is good until the end of day, March 31st, okay? So we still got a few more days left in the sale. This, is, this has been a, almost like a whole month long uh, pertaining to the whole sale as I did an interview with Janine in the earlier part of March, Tarot by Janine. And I wanted to have this discount available for the entire uh, month of March. It's kind of like an early spring sale. So happy to do that. And I'm going to be talking a little bit more today about the Source Massage Mat. Now, I do not have it with me, but I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an overview of how the Source Massage Mat works, because, again, that is one of our top products right now, is the Etherix Source Massage Mat. We also have the brand new uh, Source Super Light. Okay. So, again, there was a little bit of a delay because they accidentally sent the uh, product to the wrong address, so I had to send it to the warehouse. But the warehouse will be getting it uh, later this afternoon and then they'll be starting to send it off tomorrow for everybody who has already ordered. So that's why there's been a little bit of a delay with it, but again, everything is in good order. And of course, we still have the source flashlight, the smaller flashlight that's available. We are currently sold out out of the queen and king size Taurus beds, Taurus bed kits. I'm currently working with another supplier in developing uh, some more. Uh, the old supplier in that sense was just a little bit too pricey and not too reliable. So <clears throat> I'm getting a new supplier right now, and they're working on the grayscale version of the Taurus bed kit. So it's going to be black and white, right? So it'll have like a white base, and everything pertaining to the logos that will be on it will be grayscale. Okay, so it's kind of the grayscale, uh, black and white version of the Taurus bed kits. So I'm currently uh, looking to get a sample from them. Sample should be here in a few days. I just have to approve the sample. I want to make sure everything looks good. As everything looks good, then I'll be able to give the green the, the big thumb up and say, okay, let's go ahead and produce them. And uh, we'll get uh, some more king size beds going as well too. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time because it does take some time to get these bed kits ready. So we should probably have something maybe around May or so pertaining to the queen and king size beds. So they will be coming very, very soon. And of course we have the healing code cards. We have the body deck the mind deck and the energy deck, both available in printed editions and in uh, digital editions. Like I said, I'm still in the works of getting a fourth deck going, but like I said, with Radiate uh, taking up a lot of my time right now, uh, Radiate is priority. Once I get that finished, then I can probably get back to work bit by bit with the new source deck that is coming. And the source deck is basically twice the size of an ordinary deck, as it will have 88 cards all together. Like I said, I've basically have finished about one-tenth of the deck so far. Um, but like I said, once things start to wind down, I'll have a little bit more time because like I said, uh, Radiate is really taking up a lot of my time. Not only am I developing the program with Radiate, I'm also looking to get healing centers put together with Radiate Regen. Uh, if you guys are not too sure what I'm talking about, then you can go to Radiate Regen.com, okay, and I'll find, I'll give, or it's not RadiateRegen.com, RadiateApp.com, <laughs> RadiateRegen.com will be coming very soon, but uh, RadiateApp.com, uh, this is where you can find out more about Radiate itself, but as I was saying is that there's going to be healing centers that are involved, so very similar to what EE Systems has been doing in being able to offer their product to healing centers as well as many other products out there, really good products that want to offer themselves to wellness and healing centers while well, Radiate 2 will be joining that lineup. Okay, So we're, I'm currently working on getting uh, wellness centers established. I'm working on getting templates ready for people, tutorial videos uh, ready for people as well too, who are interested in either creating a business that's uh, all around Radiate, or again, 
adding radiate region to their business as well too. So that's taking up some of my time. So I'm really gonna be busy still over the next few weeks. So hopefully maybe around May or June, I'll have a little bit more time and can go back into the source deck and get that going pretty soon as well too. We're also gonna have updates to the app, right? So as you can see here, this is the Radiate app, just uh, showing you the free version here at the top of the screen. So again, we see that uh, blue circle, right? And the two lines. So I'm giving you guys a little bit of a description of what that means when you're looking at the free version because the, full, the uh, premium version looks a little bit different. Uh, I'll show you the premium version here in just a few minutes. But basically when we're looking at the free version, what you see here is you see that white light in the background, that's the central light, that is what's containing the source center vibration. When you're looking at the two bars, you have one that is the Schumann resonance, or I'd refer to it as the nature bar, okay? Now the nature bar is actually gonna contain a lot of nature energies, nature frequencies. Not only is it going to be containing the Schumann resonance, which it already does, it's gonna be containing the 432 hertz frequency of the sun. So when you're basically turning on Radiate, just the free version, it kind of feels like you're in a forest, okay? Because I'm actually gonna be putting some tree frequencies in the nature bar. I'm gonna be putting some, uh, just a lot of nature frequencies uh, throughout the entire bar, and you're gonna be feeling it energetically, right? It does not make any sounds, at least nothing audible. But when you're using the free version, you're actually feeling like you're in somewhat of a forest, right? Because you can feel like the sun, because the frequency of the sun is coming through the app. The, the frequency of the trees is coming through the app. The frequency of the earth, the 7.83 Schumann resonance, is coming through the app, okay? So that's really what I'm doing here with the nature energy or the nature bar that you see here. Then we have the second bar just below it, and that is the spirit bar, or again, the white light bar. That is what contains the crop circle energy, okay? So as I talked about last year, last summer, I went to England, and I was able to visit two crop circles. And I was able to capture the vibratory frequency of the crop circles inside the field as well, too. I was able to put those inside crystal stones. And I'm able to take that, that energy, and I'm able to place it directly into whatever I wish, right? So that white bar contains the crop circle energy. The crop circle energy resonates in a white vibrational band frequency. And so that is why the white bar is there. So you're actually getting the crop circle healing energy from the white bar as well too. When you're looking at the uh, white and blue ring in the background, well, that actually represents uh, the, the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is timed through that particular circle, that ring, as it's moving throughout the entire screen. That ring also contains a combination of all three things. It, cont it contains the combination of the source center vibration, or again, scalar, biomagnetism. It also contains the Schumann resonance, and it also contains the white light vibrational band. So that again is radiating itself through the screen. It's expanding itself and moving in the allotment of the Fibonacci sequence. Also, the uh, free version has the overlay of the Fibonacci sequence as well too. And it goes up into a microsecond quality. So basically with the microsecond, you're looking at one, one millionth of a second. So you have many different pulses that are happening every single second based upon the mathematics of the Fibonacci sequence that is radiating, again, the source center vibration, the scalar, the biomagnetism, the Schumann resonance, and again, the crop circle energy, the white light vibrational band. Now, again, as I stated, that is the skeleton version, okay? You're also gonna have a soundtrack, okay? Because you see on the screen there that there is an audio button, okay? There's a soundtrack that's also included with the free version as well, too. And that soundtrack also has Schumann resonance. It also has uh, scalar. It also has source center vibration. So again, that is also radiating as you play the soundtrack. Like I said, this is just the free version. Okay, so there's a lot contained just in the free version by itself. When we get into the premium version, premium version has hundreds of times more frequencies, okay? So the premium version is jam-packed, right? So it's kind of like looking at a bare bones skeleton compared to a full human body, right? We got all the systems intact, we got the blood flow, we got the circulation, we got the organs, we got the glands, we got the bodily systems, we got the skin, we got everything, okay? That's the difference. So right now you're looking at a skeleton, 
you go to the premium version, you got the full human body, right? You got all the features pertaining to the premium version. So we have the free version, we have the premium version, and then this is where we get into the, um, into the regen, into the radiate region, which represents the commercial or the regen version, we have it stepped up even more. So if we're looking at the skeleton, if we're looking at the human body, then we're looking at the skeleton, the human body, plus the subtle bodies, okay? And that is the regen version. So the regen version needs to function through multiple displays. It needs to function through multiple screens. It's not something I'd recommend just showing on a, on a single screen because it's gonna be adapted to actually working with multiple screens altogether. And that is why the regen version or the commercial version is going to be available in healing centers because you're basically gonna need a multitude of screens in order for that to work efficiently. Okay, you can still, you can play it with one screen. It's, it's pretty good, but the efficiency is not going to be as strong unless you have you know a, a few different screens that are aligned together so that they're actually radiating that so that's very similar to the ee systems where they have the screens and they're all aligned together with each other and they're creating a torus field okay now again even the commercial version the radiate uh, regen version has a torus field in itself but like i said it's calibrated to work together with other displays to bring about a greater efficiency a greater potency, right? So that's the regen version. So the regen version is a step up above the premium version, right? And that's something that you can only experience when you go to a healing center or a wellness center for someone who's going to host that technology, right? So that's the whole plan, and that's what I'm developing right now. <laughs> so you can see exactly why I've had my hands full these past several weeks, just getting all of this done, getting the free version done, getting the premium version done, getting the regen version done, getting our own healing center downstairs uh, set up, getting the website ready so that other people can get a commercial license and they can start using Radiate Regen. They can now start using a license for Etherix. They can start selling Etherix products through their stores, right? Just their physical stores, so to speak. We're not gonna be offering it online. It's just something that's gonna be available in your own local store because uh, the online store is always gonna be etherix.co. Okay? But nonetheless, you'll be able to use Etherix products and you'll be able to sell them in your own local establishment as well too as you purchase a commercial license. And of course, you'll be able to use Radiate Regen as well. So there you go. <laughs> that is exactly why I've been so busy. Okay, So let's go back to the main screen here. And I'm going to show you again a screenshot, or not really a screenshot, but just a live image of the Radiate uh, Premium version. Okay. So you see a very big difference between the free version and the premium version, okay? So I have this going on my second screen just next to me. So it feels really amazing when I'm doing a, a broadcast and I have the uh, premium version with me. So Brad, it looks like there's a lot of difference between the free version and the premium version. We're seeing a bunch of rainbow colored bars and we're seeing all these symbols that are flowing through the bars. Brad, what's going on? Can you talk about this? Well, this is again where I'm saying that you're going from a skeleton and you're looking at a full human body. You're looking at a 15 color band frequency that contains all scalar. All of these bar bars here contain scalar, okay? These two bars here, well, again, we have the Schumann resonance bar, as I talked about earlier, and then we have the Kundalini healing power bar right here, which represents that spectrum, right? It's going from the yellow to the violet. Okay, so what that does is that is working together with your own kundalini, that's working with your intelligence energy, okay? Because kundalini itself is not an energy, it is an intelligence, okay? So I'm not saying that you're getting a kundalini awakening as soon as you're using the premium version, because you're not, right? But you're working together with the kundalini intelligence to govern all of this uh, harmonious balance that you're going to be experiencing as you look at all of these symbols. So we have dozens and dozens of symbols going to from left to right and right to left across the screen. So what that means is that all of these symbols contain coding contained inside them. So these symbols here that you see, these represent what's known as body symbols, okay? The body symbols, each of them, every single one of them, contain specific coding inside of them, okay? So it's very similar to like the healing code cards where you're looking at a card and each card has its own coding. 
right, to work together with your body. Well, that's exactly what radiate is doing. Okay, radiate is working together with these body symbols that contain specific coding to benefit the organs, the glands, the bodily systems, the subtle bodies, the chakras, the nadi channels, the meridians, the uh, uh, the, the, the astral body, the, the uh, mental body, the uh, etheric body, the akashic body, okay? It's, it is extremely vast, okay? The premium version is just very vast. You really can't even compare the free version to the, full, the premium version. Premium version just has so much more, okay? And it's even more powerful, and it works a lot more in the quadrillions of seconds pertaining to the uh, alignment of the Fibonacci sequence. So it's pumping about a hundred times more intensity of the Fibonacci sequence than the free version is, okay? And then when we get into Radiate Regen, the commercial version, that's going to be pumping a hundred times more Fibonacci sequence than the premium version is, okay? So that's exactly why it's designed for multiple displays. So again, as you're seeing here, you're seeing all of these uh, are these symbols going left to right, right to left, Charge, discharge, discharge, charge, discharge, charge, discharge, charge, discharge, charge, discharge, charge, discharge, charge, discharge. That's what it's doing. When it's going left to right, right to left, it is charging and discharging your cells. It is charging and discharging your uh, morphogenic energies through the symbols as they move from left to right, right to left at certain speeds. The speeds themselves uh, really are not uh, meant for, for everybody. They all just represent different speeds that represent experimental opportunity of alignment. Okay, so if one is going really, really fast and one's going really, really slow, doesn't mean the fast one is better. It doesn't mean the slow one is better. It's working at intervals to helping in working in healing your body and energizing your body through certain speeds. Okay, so the speeds are just helping working together with certain overlays of charge and discharge within the body. Okay, so I'm going to be talking a lot more about this uh, on the website. Okay, because there's a lot to talk about pertaining to the whole science of radiate. Okay. Because it is very much, it's like taking the healing code cards and it's putting it into a video format. It's like taking the uh, Taurus bed kit and putting it into a video format. It's like taking the source massage mat and putting it into a, a video format. It's taking all of the technology that we currently have with etherics and putting it into this video visualizer. Okay, And again, you're going to have different versions of it. What I mean by that is that in some of our upcoming updates to the app, when it comes out, after it comes out, you're going to be able to choose speeds uh, relating to the videos as well, too. So you could have super fast, fast, slow, or super slow, and then, of course, the standard interval to what you're seeing on the screen. So, whew, <laughs> I was getting long-winded trying to talk a lot about uh, Radiate, okay? So now you know exactly how much energy I've been putting into this because... That's not easy to code all that stuff. All the, all the, all the uh, body symbols that are there, each one of them individually needed to be coded. The color bars that you see on the screen, every single one of them needed to be coded. Uh, the, the light in the background needs to be coded. They need to interact with each other. They need to bond with each other. They need to work with each other, right? And I'm still adding certain codes as well, too. I'm working with a lot more with the Nadi channels. I'm working a lot more with the Marmas, okay? I'm looking into basically a lot of ancient uh, healing when we're looking at acupuncture, when we're looking at yoga, when we're looking at marma therapy, <clears throat> when we're looking at meridians, okay, when we're looking at prana, okay, the five different prana vayu within the body, okay, we're looking at all of those things. A lot of the ancient practices are contained inside Radiate. This is the ultimate rejuvenation tool, okay. It's very much right up there with EE systems because it has so much information in it, and it's working tremendously to recharge your body. And really what I would suggest is that when you guys uh, get to the point when you can download Radiate, which again is coming here in April, you're working with Radiate as much as possible, okay? And what I would suggest is uh, document your progress every single day, right? How are you feeling before? How are you feeling after? I did two or three hours of Radiate, now here's how I'm feeling afterwards, okay? 
what I'd suggest is that there's a there's a benchmark that each of you get into and that benchmark is achieving 100 hours of radiate exposure and seeing exactly what you're able to achieve overall through those 100 hours and then do it again at 200 hours, 300, 400, 500, right? Going up to a thousand hours. How much have you been doing radiate, right? And how much of a difference are you feeling as you're working with radiate, okay? Are you using the concentrators, right? Which again is a free uh, downloadable sample, which you can find on etherix.co, right? They again have those little uh, circles to them, two circles with the four points, okay? And that is very, very powerful. That's a very powerful symbol that you can use and you're just putting it on your body. What I would suggest is just buying some sticker templates for your inkjet or laser printer. If you don't have that, go to a print shop, right? And get them to print it out on sticker paper for you and start putting those stickers on your body, right? If I have a bad heart, if I have a bad stomach, if I have a bad back, okay, if I have bad knees, then I'm putting the concentrator stickers on there and then I'm turning on radiate or I'm going to lay down in my Taurus bed, or I'm going to lay down on the source massage mat, or I'm going to work with the healing code cards, and I'll put the healing code cards on top of where I have the stickers, right? This is incredibly beneficial. You're going to notice a lot of things. I have been able to cure several different things about my own body by working with two combinations recently. Number one, radiate. Number two, the concentrator stickers, the concentrator images that you will find for free on etherics.co under samples, okay? You guys should have the concentrator stickers. You should have the concentrator images and you should be working with those all the time, okay? So you want to find out exactly just through self-evaluation, right? If I'm twisting my body, oh wait, hang on, it kind of feels stiff. If I'm twisting to the right in my lower back around the lumbar, okay? So I'm gonna take a sticker and I'll put it down there. I'm gonna put a concentrator right in there. Okay, good. Now I'll go ahead and I'll lay down in the Taurus bed for a little bit. Okay, and then when Radiate comes out in April, I'll have Radiate with me. I'm just putting it on my phone, putting it directly in front of me, and I'm getting radiated. Okay, so I'm getting radiated by Radiate. Radiate also clears out EMF and ELF. What it does is it cleans it. Okay, you're still going to notice that there's EMF in your phone, but the EMF will be clean. This is what I talk about moving from an EMF field to an SCV field, a source center vibration field. Right? where everything pertaining to the dirty EMF is now cleaned. So you have an EMF field, but it's been completely cleaned. It's been completely polished, right? And that energy is now actually being used as a benefic that's actually helping you to heal, okay? So that, again, is the power of Radiate. That is, again, to what a lot of the Etherix products do, is when you have them in your environment, specifically, for example, the wall arrays, the wooden rejuvenation wall arrays. I have one right behind me here. Okay, you have one of these on your wall and what that's going to do is that's going to completely clean any EMF, any ELF frequency. That's blurry a little bit there. Uh, any EMF or ELF frequency that's in your home, okay? And all of that energy contained within that field is going to be used as a benefit to you now, okay? This is why Etherix is so incredibly beneficial. This is why I would suggest that you guys are just covering your home with wall arrays. You're covering your home with the pyramids. You're covering your home with the selenites, with the amethyst crystals, right? You're working with the safeguards, okay? You're putting those little stickers because, again, that is a digital technology. And those are digital images, and you can print them out. Like I said, get some sticker templates. Get some magnet templates. Put it up on your fridge. Put it in your car. Put it in your vehicle, right? Uh, take a sticker. Put it under your gas tank, okay? That's going to help to convert a lot of the dirty emissions that are coming out of gasoline. If you guys have a Tesla car or an electric vehicle, make sure you're putting a lot of those safeguard stickers around the batteries of the Tesla vehicle because then your emissions on, electric, on, on the electrical level is gonna be completely cleaned, okay? So again, if you have, you notice uh, several different batteries in your Tesla vehicle, then you're taking several different strips of the safeguards and you're putting the safeguards there, okay? And that is going to bring tremendous benefit to you. Now you can actually drive your Tesla. You can drive your electric vehicle without getting bombarded by dirty, harmful, and rancid emissions. Okay? 
So you want to do that. So this is basically taking care of everything. This is taking care of your home. This is taking care of your transportation. This is taking care of your household. This is taking care of you and helping to rejuvenate and replenish your body so that the body is getting all of the energy it requires to self-heal, okay? So I'm not saying you guys need etherics in that way. I certainly recommend it because it's a very beneficial tool. All of this you're capable of doing yourself, but many people just don't know this. Right? And this is what etherics is doing, is it's being that helpful tool. It's being that helpful recommendation. It's being used as a technology that's helping to rejuvenate yourself, your family, your household, and your, your transportation, <coughs> your environment as well, too. Now, of course, Radiate will be the most powerful one of them all. They're going to be, it's going to be the most powerful technology. Because when I'm uh, basically broadcasting Radiate here, the premium version, it basically goes out for half a mile. Okay, the scalar in Radiate goes out for half a mile. Okay, so you're going to be replenishing a lot of your neighborhood a half a mile in radius. Okay, so that is basically from the center out to the end, right, is about a quarter of a mile. And then when you're looking at the entire circumference of the radius, you're looking at 0 0.46 miles on, on one screen, okay? So with what I'm broadcasting here on Radiate, that goes out for half a mile, okay? So that's very impressive. And we start linking them together. You start linking them together, that could go out for a full mile, that could go out for a mile and a half, that could even go out for two miles, depending on the number of displays that you are able to generate, okay? So again, you have an incredibly beneficial technology, okay? The free version will even go out at a very good amount. It goes out for about two thirds of that. So that'll probably be close to about uh, one third of a mile, okay? Relating to the free version of Radiate. So you are benefiting your entire neighborhood by working with Radiate, right? If people don't even know what Radiate is, but you have it on your phone, you have it on your tablet, you have it on your laptop, you have it on your TV, you are benefiting your entire neighborhood just by turning on Radiate. Think about that, okay? So again, that is gonna be coming sometime in April. Uh, we're just getting updates right now. My team is just working on the advanced programming of the application. Once that is done, then we're gonna be getting ready to send it out to Google Play and to um, Apple Store. And we're also gonna be sending it out to Amazon as well too. Once it's ready to go, it's good to go. Then I'll be letting everybody know probably about a week or so in advance so you guys can get ready to download it, okay? So you will always have a free version of Radiate. Radiate can be used on as many devices as you want, okay? So if you got three or four phones or if you got three or four tablets within your place, all of those phones, all of those tablets can hold Radiate, okay? And you can download the app and you can put it on every single one and you can run the free version on every single one of those tablets, every single one of those phones, every single one of those laptops, every single one of those TVs can support Radiate, okay? Depends on the style of your TV. If you have kind of like an old one from the 90s, well, you're probably gonna have to make some adjustments with that. But if you have like the flat screens that are available today that have a USB connection or an HDMI, right? Or if you are able to uh, stream streamcast the image from your phone onto your TV, you can do it that way. Apple TV will do that very easily, for example. So again, you will certainly have some options with the current modern technology. All right, so that is me talking about Radiate, because like I said, it's very important that I talk about that. Next thing I'm gonna be talking about is the source massage mat. Then we're gonna get into questions with you guys. Okay, we'll also be getting into a, a giveaway here very shortly. So looking at the source massage mat, so some people are curious about it. I am gonna be doing a video tutorial about the source massage mat. Now, when you guys get the source massage mat in the mail, it'll come in this really nice box. You'll see the nice little graphic of the Etherix source massage mat there and it will come with the manufacturer's instructions. Okay, please make sure you're reading the manufacturer's instructions so that you're becoming very familiar with the remote. Okay, because you have basically six options on the remote. You can basically turn the uh, infrared heat on or off, or again, you can have it on by itself, you can have it off, or you can have it on while you're using all the other vibrator settings of the source massage mat. Now, as soon as the source massage mat is turned on, the, uh, all the frequencies in the mat are turned on, okay? It responds through the electric on switch. So as soon as you turn it on and it's working, 
then the codes turn on. Okay, so I've specifically designed them that way. And what is contained pertaining to the codes of the source massage mat? Well, again, you have the source centered vibration, you have scalar, you have biomagnetism, it's even coming through the lights, right? There's four red lights in the source massage mat that come on when you're turning on the heat. And that's also radiating the source center vibration, scalar, biomagnetism, Schumann resonance, okay? The 15 color vibrational band frequencies. So all of that's coming on. It also has the, the, uh, the uh, Fibonacci sequence as well too, okay? And that is calibrated up into a um, nanosecond, okay? So you're getting multiple pulses and oscillations of the field when you're working together with a source massage mat. So you have all these different types of functions. You can have it very, very light, or you can have it very, very strong, very, very intense. Okay, you have different types of massage vibrations that you can use. There's up to eight programs in it as well too, okay? So I'm gonna be giving a video tutorial on it, giving you a little bit more detail about how the source massage mat will work. That will be coming this week, okay? And just giving you a very simple, over, very simple overview. It really is very simple to use, okay? It's just a matter of finding a good place. Uh, one person has asked me, well, Brad, when I have the, mas the massage mat on my floor, I just don't have a plug-in that's close enough. Is it okay just to get like an extension cord? Well, of course. It's the same as any other type of electronic product, okay? So it's one of our first electronic products right next to the flashlight, okay? So you have the flashlight, and of course you have the source massage mat. There's more coming. Okay, there's going to be more electronic equipment. I'm going to see if I can get like a massage gun or a massage wand or a massager. That will be another upcoming product as well too. I'm also just working a lot more with light technology to find exactly what other forms of light technology we can do. But Radiate really is the ultimate for that because we're working with the power of light. We're working with the power of sound. We're working with the power of frequency through Radiate. And the reason why Radiate is so incredibly beneficial is because almost everybody on this planet today has a cell phone. Okay? And if you have, again, the up-to-date cell phones, I'm not talking about a flip phone, okay? you're not going to be able to put Radiate on a flip phone. Okay? Hopefully you guys don't have a flip phone. That's kind of old technology. Right? So basically the, the up-to-date one are the smartphones okay, with the screen. You have that, you are able to work with Radiate. Okay? <clears throat> so some people are saying, oh, Brad, uh, with Radiate, I've heard that this is a mobile technology. Am I able to use it in any other way besides mobile technology? No because it's a mobile technology, okay? <clears throat> That's the purpose of this. So again, through the mobile app, <clears throat> you're able to broadcast it through a laptop, through a tablet, through a, a common day television, okay? So that's working together, but it is an app, okay? It's not something that you can get outside of it being an app. It's an app program. That's what it is, and that's exactly why I designed it. Why did I design it? Because the majority of the people on this planet have a smartphone. Okay, and this is exactly what you want on your smartphone <clears throat> because you can keep running uh, Radiate through the background as well too. You can have it on a little screen, right? And you can start working with other apps as well too and you can keep Radiate on there. So again, it's extremely beneficial and like I said, it's, it's rejuvenating your body. It's charging up the cells. It's increasing their millivoltage up to 70 to 90 millivolts, right? I'm really aiming for 90 millivolts. So it's your cells are so incredibly charged that they're gonna now start healing the entire body. Everything that has made you sick is now going to be combated, right? It's going to basically, there's a battle that's gonna ensue, which means the cells are taking their power back and they're clearing out the viruses, they're clearing out the stagnancy, they're clearing out the conflict, they're clearing out the stiffness, right? The, your, your tissues, your fibers, your muscles, your nerves, your cells, your organs, your glands, your bodily systems, are all going to be completely and totally refurbished so that the body is getting the energy it needs to self-heal. The body is doing the healing. I'm not doing the healing. Radiate is not doing the healing. Your body is doing the healing because it's getting the energy from Radiate. It's getting replenished from Radiate so that you can now start to self-heal. It's getting the energy from the source massage mat so that you can self-heal. It's getting the energy from the Taurus bed kit so that you can self-heal. It's getting the energy from the healing code cards, from the uh, Etherix card deck, so that you can self-heal, okay? That's the entire purpose of all of the products. Radiate is just taking it to the next level, okay? So, that's a little bit of an overview of the source massage mat. 
and again of radiate as well too. I'm going to have more information as we get closer to the time of its release. So now we're going to go ahead and do a giveaway. All right, so we're going to do a skill testing question. And what we're going to be giving away today is one of three uh, digital versions of the healing code cards. Okay, so the body deck, the energy deck, and the mind deck. So the winners, the two winners, will be able to choose which digital copy of the body, mind, or energy deck they would like to receive. And all they have to do is just basically drop me an email with their full name, their uh, their full name, and their email, because it's a digital product. Okay, so those will be for the two winners. So here is the skill test in question for you guys. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. How many cards are contained in the body deck, the energy deck, or the mind deck? Okay, when you look at the body deck, when you look at the energy deck, and when you look at the mind deck, how many cards are contained in each of those decks? Okay, so the first two people that give me the correct answer will be the winners of the digital uh, edition. Okay. So again, how many cards are in each deck? Okay, so we got two winners here. We have High Frequency Hardware 0044 and Maria Love Frequency 52844 cards. Okay, so congratulations to High Frequency Hardware 00 and Maria Love Frequency 528. You both answered correctly. Okay, so High Frequency Hardware, Maria Love Frequency, please drop me an email. Okay, just go to info at etherics.co and just let me know uh, your full name and the email I can send it to and I'll send you the digital copy of the, the, the deck of your choice. Okay, the body deck, the mind deck, or the energy deck. Guys, Etherics started with those card decks. Okay, that's how everything began. Everything began with that. Those are the primordial uh, technology that was responsible for the birth of Etherics. If it weren't for those card decks, we would not have an Etherix. If it was not for those card decks, we would not have a Radiate. Okay? It's all thanks to those card decks. Those were the genesis. That's the, pre the precursor technology that launched all of this. So they will always be around, and they're extremely beneficial. So we'll turn up every day when you say you don't need it. It might be wise for you to look into it. You don't really need anything in regards to Etherix, but is it something that's going to help you out? Absolutely, right? Because that contains the most coding out of anything because of the amount of cards that are in there and the series of decks there. And then of course, we're gonna be getting to the fourth deck very soon, the source deck, okay? And that one is going to be the ultimate uh, uh, technological card deck because that's gonna contain a lot of what Radiate contains as well too. So it's gonna be very, very deep. All right, so again, congratulations to High Frequency Hardware and to Maria Love Frequency. I look forward to your emails, okay? And then I'll send you the uh, card deck of your choosing. So you can choose either the body deck, the mind deck, or the energy deck, okay? All right, let's go ahead and move up to the top of the chat. We're now gonna go ahead and go into Q&A. So going to the top of the chat, I have one here from Catalan. Catalan says, hi, Brad. Can you code the Taurus bed and radiate so that they work in conjunction with the capture method after radiate is ready Will you be turning your attention to the source cards? Conjunction with the capture method. Well, basically in that sense, you can have photos already of the Taurus bed, okay? So the Taurus bed can work together with other people if you have photos in the bed with you, okay? So if you have a, a framed picture of your mother, for example, and you wanna put that in the Taurus bed, well, you have to remember, guys, a photo contains the hologram of the individual in question. So if you basically have a hologram or a photo of a loved one that you want to put in the Taurus bed, it'll already do that, right? It's specifically designed to do that, okay? The same thing goes with Radiate. If you have pictures on the wall and you're working with Radiate, then you can again work at a distance with a person as well too. So Radiate and the Taurus bed already have that. All those capabilities are there. And the reason why it's able to do that is because of a certain quality that's contained in all Etherix products, okay? And that is the negative green vibrational band, okay? In order for you guys to have source center vibration to basically be experienced through you, well, that source center vibration contains three vibrational band qualities. Pay attention to what these are. Number one, a higher aspect of ultraviolet ray. Number two, a higher aspect of the golden frequency. And number three, a higher aspect of the horizontal negative green, okay? 
it is that horizontal negative green that represents a carrier wave. Now that carrier wave can both be here and nowhere. It is an omnipresent wave. So it's something that can be transmitted. So if I'm holding up, again, like I said, if I'm bringing radiate to you guys right now, this is being transmitted through that one quality of negative green so that you guys are actually tuning into radiate just by me showing it on the video here like that, okay? Now you're gonna get much more of a better effect when it's actually on your phone, but you're still getting an effect, okay? And that's the carrier wave. The carrier wave is the negative green vibrational band. So every single Etherix product has that, okay? The selenite has that, the amethyst has that, the pyramids have that, okay? The socks have that, the insoles have that. Um, the, the sunglasses have that, the eye masks have that, the uh, Radiate has that, the Taurus bed kits have that, the healing code cards have that, okay? So every particular technology can be used in the form of transmission because, again, I've placed the source center vibration into all of them, okay? So every single Etherix product can be used for distance healing as long as you have a hologram or a photo of a person in question. So if I have uh, the selenite plate directly in front of me and I have a picture of my mother and I just put it down there, she's gonna start receiving the frequencies of the selenite plate, okay? She's gonna be receiving the frequencies of the amethyst clusters. She's gonna start receiving the frequencies from the pyramid, okay? From the uh, organite pyramid, right? From the organite necklace, right? I take my necklace off, I put a picture over it, she's now gonna start receiving the organite. Why? Because of the negative green. Because of the horizontal negative green vibrational spectrum. That is a carrier wave. That carrier wave is able to penetrate everything and it is available to all of us because of its omnipresent nature. It's in the field. As long as it's in the field and there's any particular type of information that's coming into that field, that carrier wave is now able to carry all of the information contained within that field to the subject that is remotely receiving it in question. Okay, So anybody can receive it. You can put it in the torus bed. You can put it on the source massage mat. Now they're not going to feel the physical vibrations of the source massage mat, but they're going to get the frequencies of it. Okay. So they're gonna get the frequencies of the math, they're gonna get the frequencies of the selenite, they're gonna get the frequencies of the amethyst, etc. okay? So that's how it works. Every single Etherix product I have laced specifically with the source center vibration, okay? So the cards are able to do that, the Taurus bed kits are able to do that, all of it, okay? So they're all able to do that. So the capture method just represents that. The capture method was specifically mentioned in the healing code cards because that's the first time I've done that, right? That was, again, like I said, that's the Genesis product. That was the first time I've created the, the product that would set Etherix ahead. And that's exactly why I call it the capture method because they were the first products and they were the very first thing that I was working with to talk to you guys about the capture method. But every single Etherix product has the capture method in it, every single one, okay? Thank you for your question. Uh, and I think you're also talking about uh, the source. Yeah, I've already talked about the source cards, so they're coming, okay? But Radiate has to come first. Radiate is first and foremost. I know you guys are very excited about the source deck. That's great, but it's in the shelf right now. It's on the shelf, and it needs to stay there until Radiate is ready to go. And I'm going to be promoting Radiate quite a bit. So I'm going to be going into trade uh, shows, conferences as well, too, and talking about Radiate. Like, I'm going to be doing promotional blasts like crazy, so I can get as many people downloading the Radiate app, and even if they're just using the free version, that's great. I am doing a campaign, my friends, and if you guys want to help me in promoting Radiate, you will be doing the greatest service you could ever do for humanity, okay? Because think of it this way. The EE systems are great, okay? If you guys are familiar with the EE systems, they're great. Is there a free version of the EE systems? Is there a portable version of the EE systems? Now, is there a free version of Radiate? Is there a portable version of Radiate? It's absolutely free, and you are helping the entire planet by getting people to be aware that Radiate exists, right? And that's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm gonna spend more of my time. No offense, guys. Radiate is more important than any other product I have on Etherix right now, okay? It is the capstone. 
Okay, I'm not doing an Illuminati symbol here, okay? <laughs> I'm just illustrating the fact that this is a capstone of Etherix, and it is the most important product that we have. And it needs to get that attention because it is free, because it is portable, because it is accessible to the majority of people on the planet. Why? Because they have a smartphone and they can download it and they can use it to rejuvenate their body exponentially. That's why this is so important. Okay, I know you guys are excited about other rollouts of products and they're going to come. But right now, Radiate needs the attention. It deserves the attention because it's going to change a lot of people's lives who download it for free, who use it portably through their devices, who can put it on other devices as well too. I cannot emphasize how important that is. And once you guys start trying the free version of Radiate, you will see what I'm talking about. Okay? It's going to revolutionize your life because it's going to give your body everything it needs for it to self-heal. Your body is always going to be the healer, but this is giving the, the juice, this is giving the energy that it needs to self-heal. That is why Radiate is priority number one for me right now. Nothing else matters. Okay? Hoping that makes sense. All right. Thank you for your question, Callan. Let's go to Mihail. Mihail says, hello, Brad. Can I use the solar plexus energizer if it's slightly dented? Okay. Well, the solar plexus energizer is an image. Okay. Now, if you're printing it out and there's a dent on it, well, that's fine. Okay. It's, you, here's the thing, guys, and I really want you to remember this because I want you to tell this to other people if they have other questions, especially if you're on the Telegram group and so forth, okay? A person comes up to you and asks, hey, does anybody know if I can still use this image because there's a bit of a dent in it? There's a dent in the paper or there's a dent in the uh, printed material that's on it. Here's what you tell them. Unless that image is ripped or burned, you can't use it, okay? Is your image ripped? No. Is your image burned? No. Then you can use it, okay? It does not matter if it is dented. It does not matter if it's twisted. It does not matter if it is wrinkly, okay? As long as the image here isn't ripped or burned, then you're fine, okay? Do not rip the image. Do not burn the image. As long as you do not do that, the image will work just fine. It will stay intact, okay? So it does not matter if you have a dent. It doesn't even rather really matter if you have a bit of a scratch on it too. If you have a little bit of a scratch on it, if it has a little bit of a fade on it, completely fine. Is it ripped? Is it burnt? No and no, then it's fine. It's faded a little bit, it's fine. It's scratched a little bit, that's fine, okay? So again, only if it's ripped, or if it's burnt, that's when it doesn't work, okay? Tell people about that, okay? You guys are messengers. I'm not always around, okay? And because uh, I get those questions quite a bit. Will this still work if this happens, if that happens, if this happens? And this is where I'm just setting the record straight, okay? So as long as it's not torn, as long as it's not burnt, it will work like a dream, okay? Thank you for your question. Okay, back to Catalan again. Uh, Catalan says, to replace the imbuement service, could you create a device or technology that could that would imbue everyday items with etheric energetics when an item is placed inside or upon that device for a period of time? No. <laughs> okay, because Catalan, that still requires a lot of work. Okay, and it's not just the idea of one universal image. If it really just came down to one universal image, guys, do you really think I'd be creating the healing code cards? Right, do you really think I'd be creating Radiate? It's not about one gigantic universal default symbol. It doesn't work that way, okay? It doesn't work. Believe me, I've tried those things in the past and that doesn't work. The reason being is because everybody's calibrated differently, right? You have to work with a symphony. You're not just getting a symphony together where a guy has a, tr has a trumpet and that's it, right? You need an entire symphony. You need the drums. You need the cellos, you need the tubas, you need the violins, you need the trumpets, you need all of these different things that represent the composition, okay? And it's the composition that helps, right? Because everybody's different. You're not just going to have a, de a default uh, thing pertaining to a, a simple device that contains 
uh, one symbol and that's it that's that's like saying again that I have the shirt and the shirt will basically give the energy for everybody on the planet no there needs to be a symphony involved there needs to be pieces there needs to be parts there needs to be all of these particular components that come together right it's exactly why again have these multitudes of different products on etherix if it really just came down to one product then I would have done that okay what rate makes radiate special is that it's it's a multitude of products contained inside a visualizer okay so it has the symphony right radiate has the symphony so Catalan, the closest thing that you would be looking for based on what you're asking for is radiate okay because radiate is the device or technology that would imbue the etheric energetics when an item is placed inside or upon the device for a period of time radiate does that okay radiate is the closest program that's doing that because it's a symphony okay and that's what you need you have to have a symphony the body is not just one frequency band and that's it you got to look at the frequency band for all of the organs you got to look at the frequency band for all the glands you got to look at the frequency band for all the cells you got to look at the frequency band for all the processes that are going in the body you got to look at the frequency band for everything that represents the advanced infrastructural makeup of the human body you got to start looking at subtle bodies you got to start looking at your chakras. You got to start looking at the nadi channels. You got to start looking at the acupuncture meridians. You got to start looking at all of these different energetics. You got to start looking at environmental frequencies, and you got to put those environmental frequencies in. You got to start looking at frequencies that will help to nullify viruses. You got to look at frequencies that will help to nullify contagions, bacteria. Okay, all of this is hundreds of thousands of frequencies. Okay. The good news is I've kept a database of a lot of these frequencies altogether that I'm putting into something like Radiate. But that is taken, that's years of research, okay? Because I've been doing this since 2019, starting off with the healing code cards, right? So that's over five years of research of databasing and documenting all of these particular frequencies that help, okay? So even if I have a shirt like this, I've put a symphony inside the shirt, but even the shirt is not going to be enough, right? You need to do more. So Catalan, it's not as easy as one might think, okay? There's a lot to it pertaining to Etherix. And this is why I've had to create something like Radiate because Radiate, again, represents that video. It represents the visualizer. It also has sound features to it. It has an audio track, right? And it has dozens and dozens of these symbols that all contain intricate coding as well too. It is an advanced, energetic computer program okay so this is why i say you really can't just do one universal thing that's going to work for everybody it's just not possible everybody's different okay again people are going to notice that when they start doing radiate some people will get benefits really really quickly some may take a lot more time and that's the proof of the pudding right there is letting you know that again not everybody's going to heal the same guys okay your body uh, needs to heal itself in its own way it may heal itself quickly with some people. It may take a lot more time. You may need to run Radiate for an entire year, eight hours a day, before you're noticing an incredible effect taking place in your body. And I'm telling you that because we're all unique snowflakes. Okay? It just depends on the person. This is why I say you guys use the concentrators, because that's going to give you guys shortcuts. Okay? But that's an idea, is that we all have, we're all our own symphony. We're all our own orchestra. And we all have to hear our own song, okay? And so Radiate is helping with that. But you are the healer. Your body is the healer. You are the intention to make yourself well, okay? And it's not just Radiate. You still got to make sure you're eating well. You got to make sure you're exercising well. You got to make sure you're grounding well, right? You're taking sea salt baths. You're breathing properly. You're doing breath work, okay? All of that is still a part of it. Radiate is not a replacement for everything that you're doing. It's an addition, okay? Etherix is an addition to your healing journey. It's not the only thing. Okay. Uh, so Carol Ann says, Hi Brad, is the sunlight plate being discontinued? No, it's online right now. I had to take it off for a while because uh, I had to get the selenite sent from the warehouse back to me. Because I don't know what was going on, but a lot of the selenite plates were ending up being broken. Okay. And I was talking to the warehouse. I said, why is there so many selenite plates being broken? So we're not sure because we're putting, we're doing pretty much everything that you're doing. I said, okay, well, just bring it back to me and I'll start sending them out myself, okay? Because I know exactly how to pack 
the selenite properly. So basically we have 40 units that are available right now. Okay, it's online, it's active right now, so you guys can order the selenite and I'll be taking care of it personally, either uh, Brianne or myself, okay? We'll be taking care of it personally because I don't know what's been happening with the uh, warehouse. Uh, not all of them are showing up break breaking, but quite a few of them are showing up breaking. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Why are they breaking, right? So that's exactly why I'm, holding, I'm handling it. So Brianne and I are handling it now because we know how to pack those things properly. So it's available, yes, no problem. Uh, thank you, Caroline. So turn up every day says, I, I, Brad, two of my three wall arrays have a minor crack on the outer part. Does that impact the overall effect negatively? If it's broken to pieces or if it's burnt, okay? So if I'm looking at the wall array here, you may get a little scratch, couple scratches across the surface, will not hurt it, okay? Even if you're noticing that there's a little bit of a splinter in one of it, will not hurt it, okay? It will still be intact. And that's just because of transport. I don't know what the mail carriers do to the packages. My guess is that they're probably loading heavier packages on top of those packages. Even though there's big bold letters on that package that say fragile, <laughs> they still do it. Unfortunately, a lot of these mail carriers are just not very bright. And they will take a lot of their heavier packages and they'll bury the, the wall arrays at the bottom despite the idea that it says fragile on it, right? So again, it sometimes gets gets damaged by transport and I can't help that. And I'm just doing what I can to say, come on guys, fragile, handle with care, be careful with these, yeah, 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 whatever, right? And that's just the attitude that they have. And mail carriers are just, they're interesting creatures. That's all I can say. So if you're noticing that there's a little bit of scratches with them in that, in that sense, don't worry about it. It's still completely intact. It's when they're snapped. If they're snapped, if they're broken in half completely, they're broken into little bits, that's where there's a problem, okay? And you guys can contact me right away and let me know about that, okay? If we do have others on hand, I will send one to you. If not, you'll just get a refund, okay? But I'm basically doing my best to try and tell the mail carriers, hey, be careful with these. These are fragile, right? Handle them with care. And they just don't seem to listen. A lot of them don't seem to listen at all. And that's very unfortunate, right? It's, if I had the power, guys, believe me, I'd be delivering it to your door myself, but... Not certainly within my power to do that right now. Okay, so um, that's that's the case with the, the wall arrays. So when you do get them, you're able to paint them, right? Some people have asked me, is okay if I paint the wall array, I wanna get it like a nice purple color or, and they're sure, yeah, no problem. You can absolutely paint them, everything like that. No problem whatsoever. I like the wooden look, so I just keep the wooden look intact. I think the wooden look looks great. But again, if you want to paint it, go for it, right? It will not affect the coating. The only thing that will coat it, affect it is if you burn it or if you break it, okay? Don't burn it, don't break it. You can paint it if you want and you'll be fine, okay? It's very, very powerful, especially if you're using that right on your body. If you're laying it right on your chest, very powerful frequencies coming out of the wall arrays, okay? All right, uh, this one here is from Darling. Darling says, anyone else find the Taurus bed blanket and the first series of bed kits have stopped working. The energy felt at the beginning have stopped. No, they haven't, darling. Okay, I have never ever turned the frequencies off. If they're not working, I would ask you, have you activated it? Okay, because the Prana bed kits need activation. The Taurus bed kits need activation. Have you activated them? Okay, they are not stopped working. Okay, the Prana beds are discontinued but they still work in regards to all the coding that they have. They are absolutely intact, okay? Now here's something that many of you in that sense think that all oh, the prana beds are not working or the torus beds are not working. What happens is if you have them on for a long period of time, you start getting used to the frequency of the torus bed. When you first sleep in it, the first few days, you're getting this buzzing sensation like crazy, right? Because this has been my experience. You get the buzzing sensation like that from with it, with it like crazy. And then over time, that buzzing sensation is not there. Why is that buzzing sensation not there? Because that buzzing sensation that you're feeling was an imbalance, okay? If you are holding an energy, uh, any particular type of energetic product, okay? That's radiating that frequency and you're putting on you and you're feeling all of your organs just buzzing and you just feel this really, really great sensation because your body was toxic, okay? Tingling sensations, buzzing sensations, heat sensations, cool sensations, all of these are letting you know that your body's toxic. 
okay? When you start sleeping in the Taurus bed over a month, a couple of months, etc., you're noticing that that buzzing sensation isn't there. Is the bed broken? No. Has the bed stopped working? No. What it's doing is that you have become used to its frequencies. You've become used to the scalar vibration. You've become used to the uh, Fibonacci sequence that's coming through the bed. You're getting used to all of the frequency vibrations that are contained inside the bed. Your body is getting used to it. Okay, So you're not really feeling a buzzing sensation. You're just feeling relaxed. You're able to sleep at ease. You're not looking for sensations. Okay, guys? Just because you feel sensations doesn't mean that that is what's going to propel you up into good health. The fact that you're feeling sensations is you telling yourself, I'm toxic. Okay, So any sensations, they're great. It's a great thing that you're feeling sensations. But sensations are coming through your body because it needs it. Because it was not getting the energy that it needs. And now you're feeling the effects of it getting all of that energy it needs. Over time, as it gets all of the energy it needs, you're not going to be buzzing anymore. You're not going to feel hot. You're not going to feel cool. You're not going to feel tingling sensations because you're not toxic. Okay? So you're only feeling those sensations, guys, because you're toxic. Your body is toxic. Right? When you start just going right into the bed, it's just going to feel naturally relaxing. You're going to feel naturally clean. You're going to feel naturally pure. And you'll be able to go to sleep just like that. That's exactly how I am with my Taurus bed, right? When I first got it, I had quite a bit of toxicities in myself as well, too. And I was buzzing, right? Legs were buzzing, chest was buzzing, neck was buzzing, face was buzzing, head was buzzing. And I was just buzzing everywhere because my body did not have all of that energy in those areas that it needed because there were toxicities in place. So over time, you were going to notice the same thing with Radiate, okay? When you guys start doing radiate as well too, over the next first little while, you're gonna feel a lot of buzzing sensation. You're gonna feel your cells getting charged, right? Over time, as you're using radiate all the time, you're not gonna feel those sensations, okay? This is not giving you guys a dopamine hit pertaining to you guys just wanting sensations. I just want those sensations, I want those sensations. Not up to you, okay? It's up to the body to heal itself. The body is getting replenished. Its energy channels are being regenerated. Its chakras are now being charged. Its cells are being charged. Its organs are being charged. And you've been using it for quite an extensive amount of time that now you just feel a peacefulness. It's like with Radiate right next to me because I've been using it nonstop, constantly for weeks. I don't get that big buzzing sensation that I used to when I'm using Radiate, but I do feel the Radiate charging me. Okay. So this is the whole idea, and that's, some people have come to me, darling, you're not the only one, okay? But quite a few people say, oh, Brad, when I first started this, this bed was just going crazy with me, and now it's been a few weeks, and I'm not feeling those sensations. Have I turned off the bed? Is the bed stopped working right now? What's going on? So it has nothing to do with any of that. You're becoming used to the frequencies that the bed is giving you. You're tuning in, which means you're getting healthier. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's what's going on. Doesn't mean your bed is broken. Doesn't mean I'm going to be a, a dick and turn off the codes for you guys because that, that product is discontinued. Okay, I would never do that. All of those codes are always in the bed. Does not matter if you have a prana bed or a Taurus bed. Those, those codes are in there. I'm not going to be an asshole and turning them off on you. Okay. They are there, but you've gotten used to the codes. You've gotten used to the frequencies. You've gotten used to the energies. And the energies are, again, natural with you now. You're just feeling peace. You're feeling content. And you're able to go to sleep at night because those codes are working with you. And you know that's the case when, for example, if you go on a vacation for two weeks without a Taurus bed, without any form of etheric technology, and then you come back home and you lay down in your bed or you lay down in your source massage mat and you experience the codes again, here come the frequencies again. Here comes the buzzing. Here comes the tingling. Here comes the warmth. Here comes the cool sensation. Here comes all of those sensations again. Why? Because your body was starved of those frequencies for two weeks. 
and you're going to feel that again. This happened to me when I went to Mexico, right? I had no tourist bed with me. Okay, then I went back home. I laid in my bed, buzzing, 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 buzzing. Okay, that's what happens when you are leaving your technology alone for several weeks and you're not touching it and you go back into it after a period of uh, time away from it, all of those sensations come back again because your body is starved of that necessary energy for it to feel well. Guys, have I made myself clear about how that works? Okay, that is how it works. That is exactly how the technology will work together with you. Sensations are signs of toxicity. It's signs of starvation of energy. When you're not having those sensations, that's actually a really good thing because now your body is getting replenished. It's getting charged. It has everything it needs. And now incredible healing aspects are taking place inside your body that you cannot even perceive of, right? Not unless you have some sort of super microscope or anything of that nature, okay? This is why I say you pay attention to the breath and you notice those subtle energies and you're noticing what's changing in yourself. Big difference. But guys, I will never, ever turn off frequencies, even if something has been discontinued. Okay, that would me being that would me that would just be me being a complete and total jerk. Okay, and that's never going to happen. Okay, even when I'm dead, and etherics is still going, all of those codes will still go. Okay, once I code something, guys, it will never, ever turn off. So, please be aware of that too. Okay, so thank you, darling, for your questions. Okay. All right. So darling says, but it's never helped in the first place. Darling, it has. Okay. I don't need you to feel sensations for you to actually notice that your body is changing. Okay. If you're having problems with it, you need to contact me. You need to drop me an email. Guys, it does not matter if you feel sensations. I'm really talking to the people who do feel sensations here. But as I've said in the previous video and previous videos and previous webcasts, I don't need you to feel anything for Etherix to work with you because it is working with you. But the problem is, darling, there's a lot more things that you're not putting into yourself that needs to be done. Are you eating well? Are you eating better? Right? Are we cutting back on meats? Are we cutting back on processed sugars? Are we cutting back on processed foods? Are we eating more organic? Are we eating well for the body? Are we meditating? Are we breathing properly? Are we doing pranayama? Okay. Are we grounding ourselves? Are we putting our feet onto the earth? These are many other factors as well too, guys. And it's like I said, etherics is not a cure-all. Okay, if that was the case, and that's basically what I'd be promoting to all of you guys and saying, all right, etherics is a cure-all and that's all you need. No, guys, it's an addition to your healing journey. But you have other things that you have to take care of. And darling, this is what I need to speak to you about. I need to find out what your entire daily routine is about. What type of food are you eating? Are you meditating? Are you doing breath work? Right? Are you getting into magnetism? Are you putting your feet in the grass? Right? Because if you're going outside and you have bare feet and you're just standing in the grass, you should be feeling those sensations right away. And if you're not, that's telling me that your body is way too toxic. Okay? And some people cannot feel these sensations and the truth is because their body's toxic. They've been completely contaminated in a toxic soup and it's just the honest truth, guys. We are living inside a toxic soup. Everything on this planet is dirty and scuzzy and gross because of artificial human concepts, not because of the earth herself, but because of the human made concepts. <clears throat> and over years, especially if you're up there in the ages as well, too, if you've just basically started doing meditation in your 50s or your 60s, then this is exactly why you're going to have time. You're going to have times where you feel like nothing's working for you. It's because you're too toxic and you need to make sure that you're covering all of the bases. How's your diet? How's your exercise? How's your breath work? How's your meditation? Are you going out in nature? Are you putting your bare feet on the, on the ground? Are you putting it on the grass? Right? Are you working on yourself? Are you clearing out your emotional states? Are you clearing out your mental states? And are you working with etherics? Okay, Guys, 
it works. Etherix absolutely works, okay? It is not some dud technology. I wouldn't create something like that. It absolutely works, but like I said, it's all based upon the levels of the toxicity that you have. Because there are people that are so heavily, incredibly toxic. And what I also notice is that they want something done very quickly. They want this done within a snap. Come on, I want to do this in one night. I want to feel better and all that stuff. Guys, it may not happen that. It may take you months before you start getting better. It just depends upon the incredible layers of toxicity that are in your body that need to be resolved altogether. And as that starts to get resolved bit by bit, you're going to notice changes. Okay, But it's not about thinking that you try etherics for one or two nights or three nights or even a week. And that's it. Oh, Brad's nothing. Nothing's happening. How long have you been trying it for? Oh, I tried it for a week. You need to try for longer. You need to give yourself at least a year. You give yourself a year in the bed. You give yourself a year on the mat. You give yourself a year with the cards. You give yourself a year with the crystals. You give yourself a year with radiate. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because you need to clear a lot of these toxins out. These are layers that you got to peel off yourself because the toxins are so heavy. It all depends. There's some people who are not so toxic who get better so quickly, right? Because their body is getting what they need and they're really dedicated to working with this and they're working with other methods as well too to detoxifying themselves. And so they recover quickly. And there's people that come to me and I'm just telling you guys from experiences because I've talked to all walks of life of people here who come into me and they are toxic, right? And I'm just keep telling you, come on, just keep using the bed. Or Brad, it's been a couple of weeks and I haven't felt anything. Doesn't matter. You keep using the bed and you give yourself a year, right? A year of sleeping in the bed, a year of eating well, a year of breath work, a year of going outside and putting your feet on the grass, a year of being out in nature, right? A year of taking care of yourself, of replenishing yourself with goodness, then you're going to feel the difference, okay? It just depends on the person. But there are people in that sense who will need that amount of time, okay? Just important to remember. All right, let's continue to move on here. Um, turn up every day, says Brad, you really should find a way for Radiate to turn on laptops, to, oh, sorry, to, not to turn on, to run on laptops and computers. That's what almost everybody has at home is a bigger screen than a phone. No, you're wrong, turn up every day. Every single person on this planet in the majority has a phone, okay? A phone is actually more popular than a laptop. A phone is actually more popular than a TV. The number one device on the planet that the majority of people have right now is a phone, not a laptop, not a computer. And you can look at this through statistics, okay? The phone is the answer. Now, as I've told you, turn up every day, I believe that's Benedict, okay? As I've told you, you are able to take your phone and you're able to broadcast it on your laptop. You are able to broadcast it on your television, okay? With a laptop in that sense and with programs in that sense, they're just not as popular. As much as you think they are, they're not, okay? With the TV app in that sense, they're not as popular. Okay, but we're getting Amazon, right? So Amazon will have a TV app for you to work with Radiate, okay? So yes, you're going to have it accessible to a laptop. You are going to have it accessible through a television, but through the apps, through the Apple Store, through Google Play, through Amazon, through what your phone can naturally screencast, through a phone, through a laptop, through a tablet, and through a television. You will have all of those capabilities. It depends on the model that you have, okay? But you will find a way. Believe me, we're opening up these things, guys. I know you guys want instant gratification as soon as an app is out, but this is going to take some updates, right? And updates are going to happen where there's going to be bigger and better accessibility, where people in that sense who want to make this into a commercial establishment, who want to make a business out of that, will basically need those big TVs, Right? Those big TVs are going to be available. And like I said, they're going to be able to use Radiate Regen mainly through a website. Okay? And you'll be able to access it there. So again, if you guys want to go to a place that has multitudes of different TV sets that's running Radiate, then you want to go to a healing center. 
you want to go to a wellness center and it's running regen which is a hundred times more powerful than the premium version okay so I'm making this accessible portably on a free level then if you want to step it up to the premium level and then you want to go even further and you want to uh, work with a healing center you'll be able to do that all three will be available okay I am not saying in any way guys that this is not going to be available on your little laptops and that this isn't going to be available on your little computers guys I have a computer right here that's running radiate right now okay and you'll be able to do that either through an app again or through screencast or anything of that nature you will have the capability okay I pretty much have already made that a guarantee depending upon the type of model of laptop that you have the type of model of computer that you have the type of model of a laptop that you have or a tablet or a phone okay it just depends on your models it's complex guys we're doing our best to make this as universal as possible we haven't even launched the app yet okay and we're already making these these promises about being able to make this function on digital devices we're going to do absolutely the best thing that we can to make it happen is that satisfactory benedict okay you can let me know in the comments because i've talked to you about this several times already all right okay so maria here says and hello maria people have experienced we're probably going to do about two more questions before i wrap up two or three more questions maria says people have experienced miraculous healing using the ee system do you anticipate that the same will be the true with using the commercial version of radiate well because they are very similar technologies right the, what really sets apart the ee system because i have the greatest respect for sandra rose michael with what she's done because i was only aware of her work back in january i've only been aware of her work for a little bit two two and a half months about that but after i research, after i looked into it i was researching her like crazy right and seeing exactly what she was able to do and what she was able to accomplish she has done a magnificent job this is over 40 years of research that she's done and she's done an incredible job the only thing that basically was a little bit bothersome about the ee systems is number one they are not portable number two they are not affordable number three uh, you basically have to go to a healing center to use them right there's nothing in regards to it being in a home unless you're buying a gigantic unit okay and they go into the many thousands of dollars right they can start off at 12 grand there's people in that sense who have bought one for like a quarter of a million okay and that's fine that's great if they've done that but in my own humble opinion there needs to be more than that okay and that is the gaping hole i saw with ee systems and as soon as i saw the very first video as soon as i saw that that uh, coding go up the screen i froze it's just like i froze everything and it's like Sandra and the, the host didn't need to say a word. I just saw that and I said, that's it. That's the missing piece I need with Etherix, right? And that's what got me the idea. Before they even said anything in the interview, they didn't say a word. I just saw the technology and said, that's it. Like within an instant, that's exactly what I need to do, right? And I started to generate Radiate, okay? Because I saw a gaping hole. Number one, it's not affordable. Number two, it's not portable. Number three, there's issues with accessibility. Okay, and those are the three things that I'm basically patching the hole with with Radiate. Because what I want to do is I want to work with EE systems. I want to work with uh, Sandra. I want to work with Jason, right? Who has the Unified Healing Network and all that. Because as soon as we start getting this rolling and we start getting quite a lot of testimonials, you guys are going to have to tell me how you feel you guys are going to have to tell me if you've had miracles because i make no claims everything pertaining to etherics guys is experimental okay when you're seeing all of those testimonials up on etherics that's not for me right that again is people out of the goodness of their heart sharing what etherics has done for them and there's hundreds and hundreds of testimonials up on the website right and even if i'm looking back into uh, healing code cards and putting that together there's thousands of testimonials of people healing themselves not because of me but because of their own bodies right all i'm doing is giving you guys technology to rejuvenate the body the body does the healing okay you do the healing i don't right so do i feel like a lot of miracles will will come about I have, I have personally experienced quite a few miracles with Radiate already. I can only speak for myself, guys. I can't say, oh, all of you guys are going to be experiencing a bunch of miracles. I can't say that. 
okay? And I'm not going to say that. You guys have to tell me because you are going to experiment with radiate. You are going to experiment with etherics, with all the products, and you're telling me what's happening. And as I read through a lot of the testimonials, these are miraculous things that are having happening, okay? And what I'm referring to, guys, is just things that I've seen on the website. I've had a person with diabetes who couldn't even move her feet, and she was able to move her feet through the prana bed within a few days. She was able also to work together with the healing code cards, and her feet were moving again because she had severe diabetes. I had a woman whose husband had severe Parkinson's, and he was sleeping in the prana bed for a few days, and his Parkinson's symptoms were going away. I had a little uh, a grandmother whose granddaughter had severe autism, and she was so badly autistic that she had a hard time even walking down the stairs. She went into the prana bed. About 10 days later, she could walk down the stairs completely. Okay? I've had people in that sense who have had back injuries, who have been able to completely heal their backs. I've had people who have had cancer, who have completely dissolved their cancers. Okay? So these are, again, testimonials that I'm telling you. Not because I've put them there or anything of that nature. I'm saying, guys, here's the technology. What are you getting out of it? And this is what's coming in. So I can't guarantee you guys miracles. No. All I can guarantee you guys is that this is the technology. What are you getting out of it? Because I've put a lot of uh, energy into this technology with the Therix products and, of course, with Radiate to say, okay, I think this is going to do a lot of great work but I want to hear it from other people, okay? Even my partner, Brienne, has had quite a few miracles with Radiate as well, too, okay? Last night, she just severely injured her knee, and we started working with Etherix products together with Radiate. Her knee is pretty much all better now, overnight, okay? Like I said, these are the things that you are telling me, okay? So you tell me if there's miracles, because I've certainly been reading quite a lot of them, okay? And I like how Sandra uh, Rose Michael is also talking. So, oh yeah, we've had all kinds of testimonies. Like, I'm not making any claims. So these are from people. Like, right on, Sandra, that's it. That's the key. Humility is the key here. I'm not giving you guys guarantees that you guys are going to have miracles and then one day that a person who barely can't walk is now walking again. Okay? You have to tell me. It's all set through your intentions. Your intention is what's going to make you all better here. And again, there needs to be a humility with that intention. Okay? So I can't guarantee any miracles. You guys have to tell me the miracles that come together because this is experimental technology. It's not medical technology. Nothing in regards to it has to do with anything to do with Western medicine whatsoever. This is all about living technology. This is spiritual technology. This is living technology. This is scalar technology. Right? This is biomagnetism technology. This is Fibonacci sequence technology. This is color vibrational healing technology. But it's not medical technology. I'm not here to diagnose you guys. I'm not here to tell you anything pertaining to medical advice. All I'm doing is offering this to you. You've got to tell me what you're feeling with it. Because you're seeing it through hundreds of testimonials on etherics. Okay? That's what I can say about that. So, yes, and like I said, I've heard from EE Systems about the miraculous healings that's happened. That's great. I wish nothing but the best for people because I don't want to see EE Systems go up in, in flames or anything like that. I want it to continue to do well. And I'm hoping that what I'm doing with Radiate is going to help EE Systems to roll out into portable versions. Maybe there is a way to make it portable. Like I said, the only reason I'm able to make Radiate portable is because of the natural abilities that I hold and what I'm able to do to imbue you know, spirit a spirit of vibration into a lot of symbols, into all of these components to make it something portable. Because in regards to technology on this planet, we can't do that, right? You basically have to do that. You have to get into the subtle planes. You have to get into the divine planes and you need to command that energy and you need to put it into symbols and you can put it through videos and you can put it through any object and all of that. That's just a natural ability that I have. And that's exactly how Radiate is able to function with one screen to help a person, to rejuvenate. So you can't really do that with modern technology. It's not possible. With uh, E-Systems, you have to have multiple screens to generate a torus field. 
it's just it's just the way it is that's how you work on a technological level i'm going beyond physical physics i'm going beyond physical technicality and this again is the subtle planes working together with the physical plane my engine is the engine that resides within the subtle plane it does not reside within the physical plane that's why if you try to cut up or cut open radiate and find out what's going on you're not going to find anything it's an app right but it's radiating scalar it's radiating biomagnetism because of all the energies that I've been putting into it, right? I am the engine, and I'm working with this engine through the subtle planes so that they stay there permanently, working together with this app. It is something that no one else has ever done before, and I'm happy to reveal it to the world, okay? That's exactly what all etherics is about, too. All right, uh, let's do about one or two more questions, and we're going to wrap up. Okay, this one here is from Paul. Paul says, question, can you leave it under your pillow and will the usual mobile negative frequencies be controlled by the app? I wouldn't recommend putting it under the pillow, Paul, okay? <laughs> because it is a device. What I would suggest is that you get something like a nightstand, okay? Get a nightstand, get an end table and put it there, okay? Another thing that I'm gonna be telling you guys as well too is don't try to obstruct the light from the screen, okay? That light from the screen is the biomagnetic uh, biomagnetism portion of radiate because some of you say oh I got, you know Brad I'm falling asleep but I got this bright light in my face from the tablet and what I would suggest is maybe just move the tablet a little bit out of the way right put it on the opposite end of yourself and get an eye mask okay uh, you do not want to basically put like a cover or anything of that nature trying to obstruct the biomagnetism you want the visible light to be in your room okay so don't try to cover it up don't try to block it uh, that's again when you guys start to download the app. The app's not ready yet. It's happening in April. But when you do get it and you're deciding to sleep with it, just adjust it in a level that you feel is comfortable, but do not turn off the screen. Do not try to block the screen. Let the visual light come out because that's biomagnetism. Okay. So like I said, you can adjust a little bit, but what I would suggest, get an eye mask. Okay. We have them in Etherix. So get the, adjust, get the uh, Etherix eye mask, wear that. Work with your eyes at the same time while you're wearing the eye mask, and that's going to help you tremendously. Okay? That's what I can say. Okay, let's go down to one more question. Okay. This is just a comment from Carol Ann. I just received my healing eye mask. Oh my God, the energy is so strong. Feels absolutely amazing. I know it is healing so much. Great. You see, guys, that's what I'm talking about. You're letting me know about what Etherix is doing for you, right? And that's, that's again, what I put up on the website, right? And this is what's offered to you guys to do a testimonial once you buy a product and say, okay, would you like to leave a testimonial on the website? And a lot of you do, and I'm deeply appreciative for that because again, it's our organic research. We're all researching Etherix organically. And the same thing with Radiate, you guys will be researching it organically because the organic research speaks for itself. I don't have peer reviews or anything of that nature. I'm not getting people, I'm not spending $100,000 on some scientist doing a peer review to basically try and satisfy their own ego, right? I couldn't care less about stuff like that, okay? This is coming from the people, people who are actually using this, who actually care about their health and actually want to do something to heal. Those are the people I wanna hear from. I couldn't care less about some scientist who wants me to pay him all kinds of money to do a peer review, right? I've never cared for those peer reviews anyways. I've always thought those things are garbage. Okay, uh, I think we're good. Um, okay, yeah, I think we're good. I don't see any other questions. So I think we'll wrap it up there for today. Actually, there's one here from George. George says, will Radiate work better if you use two different devices aimed at each other? George, great question, yes. Okay, so that's the whole idea. Now, basically what you wanna do, now say for example, if you have two phones, maybe they're of a different make, but their screen size is about the same. Okay, good, you can start using that. But what makes it very, very different is if you have two identical devices, right? So if you have two identical smartphones, if you have two identical tablets, that's where you're gonna get the 100% efficiency out of it, okay? Uh, again, like I said, we may have different devices and it's like I said, you might get like 80, 90% efficiency and that's great. But the whole idea is that scalar works together through conjugate nature. Okay, so conjugate nature is basically taking these two particular patterns and broadcasting them against each other so that it actually creates the scalar. Okay, you're taking identical vibration 
and you're putting it in there. And it basically represents the nature of a conjugate system. Okay? The conjugate system basically represents a collision effect. A collision effect by two identical uh, vibrations coming through conjugate systems that are colliding and basically creating a, uh, a torus field. Okay? So basically, by itself, there's a torus field generated on the screen. Like if I have with my TV right here that's broadcasting radiate, it has a torus field that's already happening. Now, these two monitors that I have here are identical. They are the same model, they are the same make, they are the same size. So when I put radiate on both of these monitors, the effect is profound. Whereas if I had a different monitor here, because I used to have a smaller monitor, and I had it with a large effect, and I still felt that it was really good, I'd still say it's about maybe 80 or percent or so effective, and that's fine. But if I have two exact the same, the same monitors in that sense, and they're broadcasting this, then that again is me working together with the conjugates, right? Basically working together with a partner here and being able to bring about that identical vibration because everything pertaining to the hardware component is identical. They're the same weight, they're the same size, they're the same model, they're the same make. That is indicating that there's identicalness there. And that is actually what's creating a collision. I would say not photons, because I don't talk about photons. That's mathematical jargon, okay? But they're basically creating a magnetic collision, and that's what's opening up source center vibration. That's what's opening up a torus field. That's what's producing scalar, okay? So the program itself has the capability of doing that, okay? So this, again, work represents these subtle vibrations, okay? So when you're looking at this, you cannot see it with the naked eye, but there is collision happening at the center of all of these color bars. All of the color bars are colliding in the center through the subtle vibrations, because as I said, the engine is being produced by me, but the engine resides within the subtle planes. Okay, and the engine is a torus field itself, and it's being represented, it's being portrayed through the colors, through the graphics, through the animations that you see here in the video. It's being portrayed as that. So the graphics that you see in the video is the portrayal, they are the anchors of what is happening in the subtle plane representing this torus field. This torus field is linked to the components of everything representing this user interface. So again, the, uh, the, the source center vibration, that white light in the background is linked to the torus field. Those color bars is linked to the torus field because torus field contains all of the color vibrations. Schumann resonance is connected to the torus field. The kundalini healing power is connected to the torus field. All of the body symbols is connected to the torus field because everything comes from the torus field. So the torus field is basically linking itself into every single component that is contained on the GUI, the graphical user interface. And the graphical user interface is functioning as the anchor points for all of those qualities that represent the torus field. The torus field is in a subtle plane. It never expires. It's permanent. It will be here long after I'm gone. It will be here long after the earth is gone. It will be long here, gone after, long here still after the entire solar system is gone. It'll still be here. Okay? That, that's, that source vibrational field is permanent. Okay? It does not have an expiration date. Why? Because it's a perturbation of the ether. The ether does not have a, an expiration date. Okay? When you're looking at an etheric perturbation, such as a torus field, it is there for as long as it needs to be, infinitely. Okay? This is an infinite technology. Okay? This is not some physical, uh, you know, hocus-pocus type of uh, uh, physics device that basically has an expiration date to it. Okay? As long as this interface exists, the torus field that is its engine exists, okay? I would say not even that, but it's basically that the torus field will always be here, even if that software is not there, okay? It's always gonna be there. It's infinitely laced. It's permanently etched in the subtle plane and it can never expire, right? It's there for good. So that's the engine. That's what's coming through the graphical user interface. That's what's giving everything power. That's what's oscillating the Fibonacci sequence. And I could basically take it all the way up into, 
you know, <laughs> immeasurable count, okay? Because basically when we get into the radiate region, it's going to be following the Fibonacci sequence all the way up to one septillionth of a second. And that is looking at dozens upon dozens of oscillations and pulses per second. And that is probably going to bring this right up to about two miles in diameter relating to the length of the scalar field. So again, everything that EE Systems is doing, Radiate is following along together with that. But like I said, this is not replacing EE Systems. This is just another uh, development of torus field technology, of scalar technology that we're using because there are other scalar technologies as well too, besides EE Systems, besides Radiate that are also offering themselves up. And that's great, I would love to see more. I would love to see somebody generate something similar to Radiate. So Brad, I created something very similar to Radiate. Oh, really? I'd love to see that, let me see, right? I'm not gonna like, you son of a beep. <laughs> no, because that's not what this is about. This is not about squashing anybody. This is not about competition, right? Like I said, I would love to work with EE systems. I would like to work with other people who are developing similar scalar technologies, as long as they're doing it properly, right? So we all want to work together because we're all here to help the planet heal. And that's what this is all about. Anyways, I hope that made sense. We're out of time, guys. I went over a little bit. So hope you're all going to have a rest, wonderful rest of the day. And again, please stay up to date. Go to radiateapp.com. Okay. Let me just go ahead and pull up the screen here with Radiate. There we go. So go to radiateapp.com. Okay, sign up to the newsletter. So again, all you do is just you, you'll see the nav bar screen. Click on the sign up uh, link in the nav bar. It'll take you down to the sign up form. <clears throat> just leave your first name and your email, and you'll be up to date. I send out Radiate newsletters every Friday. So check that out, radiateapp.com. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll talk to you again next time. Thanks for being here today. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaskar. May it be well with you. Bye for now.